Jesus. He is our Lord. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, uh, this is exactly uh, one lunar month because yesterday was the full moon. Uh, so it's exactly one month from uh, Passover. Woo. So, so we are almost halfway to uh, Pentecost. <laughs> halfway to Pentecost. In fact, um, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Jewish people, they usually will, uh, on the two-third way to Pentecost, they're going to have a bonfire, which is uh, supposed to be next uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, a uh, bonfire, you know, because um, uh, they kind of have a very sad time, you know, in the old days, you know, I'm going to share about that. Uh, but it's time this year, they cannot have bonfire uh, in Israel. They, they ban it <laughs> because <laughs> they are afraid, you know, they already have too much uh, transmission. You know, when they, when they come together, when they come together, uh, you know, they, they um, uh, you know, have so much um, uh, infections and things like that. So, you know, they kind of, you know, close off, you know, a lot. They close all, uh, a lot of the, um, you know, festival, you know, the meetings and uh, school and everything in, in Israel. So, um, so you know, we're going to talk about that, but uh, mainly we're going to talk about, you know, in the lens of Isaiah chapter 12. <laughs> okay, welcome, welcome. So, uh, previously, in the last chapter, we found out, you know, the chapter 11 is talking you know, the Father God, you know, talking about his son. You know, 700 years, 700 years, uh, some years before before Jesus, you know, the Father wanted to talk about his son, you know, all in one chapter, you know. So it was uh, really wonderful, you know, at least to me, you know, I hope it was to you too, because, uh, you know, there was so much, uh, you know, stuff, you know, about, uh, about you know, the spiritual well, you know, um, you know, there's a lot of blessing, you know, from, from that, you know, we have recordings. So if you want English uh, recordings, the Friday recording, actually, I also have a, a peace study Cantonese. And uh, so you, you can ask for it. I, I can, I can send it to you. But anyway, that was the chapter 11. <laughs> so I see a chapter 12. Okay. Um, can anyone offer to read? allow for us uh well you know i we, we don't have too many people but you know yeah, uh, hey maybe yeah uh, yes one, sure two. Uh, one, one two six right all of that yes okay yeah, sure. all six sure all six I, I, yeah i see uh, uh chapter 12 and in that day you will say oh lord i will praise you though you were angry with me your anger is turned away and you comfort me Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For yet the Lord is my strength and a song. He also has become my salvation. Therefore, with joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. And in that day, you will say, praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his deeds among the peoples, make mention that his name is exalted. Say unto the Lord, for he has done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout, O inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in your midst. Wow. Oh. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Wow. You know, this is really good stuff. Hey, you know, we could have a good time. You're a blessing on everyone. Amen. Well, <laughs> we start with in that day, you know. Last last uh, last uh, last week, you know, when we were uh, talking about chapter eleven, that's already mentioned of in that day, you know, and then we we already know that for a fact, uh, you know, this is a really good, uh, you know, interesting phrase, you know, in that day, you know. Now, first time it was mentioned in the whole Bible, in that day is in Genesis chapter two, verse seventeen. In that day. Well, what, what happened that day? <laughs> but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in that day that thou eat thereof, thou shalt surely die. 
Genesis chapter 2, verse 17. Well, but, you know, Adam, you know, ate that uh, uh, fruit from the uh, uh, tree of knowledge of good and evil. He did. You know, because uh, uh, Hawa did that first, and then Adam followed. <laughs> but Adam didn't, didn't die that particular day, okay? Adam died 930 years. You know, he was that, you know, that old, you know, before he died, okay? So, so we know that for a fact, okay? So what's that mean? You know, you know, the Lord said in that day, you know, well, you know, I, I know uh, we talk about the spiritual, spiritually, obviously, in that day, yes. But, but it's a little bit more than that, you know, because um, in the, in the Old Testament time, in uh, Psalm 90, you know, Moses was talking about, for in your sight, a thousand years are but a day that passes, or a watch of the night. Wow. You know, that's the, that's the, the Ten Commandments, Moses, okay? <laughs> but, the, but you know, he, he is still talking God's word, you know, even though it is an old covenant. In, in the book of uh, Second Peter, now that's the New Testament, okay? But do not forget this one thing, dear friends, you know, seems like we, we tend to forget. You know, because with the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. Second Peter, so this New Testament, so not just the Old Testament, but also New Testament, you know. So, because, you know, the Lord is the law of time and space. He created the time and created space. The law is outside time. Before the time eternal, you know, he's already there. <laughs> and then he is continued forever, right? So, so you know, when, when he created that day, you know, he can shorten it, he can lengthen it, okay? But anyway, so apparently, at least according to the scripture, a day can be, you know, a thousand years. Now, he, he is a preacher, okay? <laughs> In John chapter 4, when Jesus went to uh, save the Samaritan woman at the well, uh, this is what happened afterwards. After the woman was saved, the woman, you know, testified to to his village, I mean her village, her village. <laughs> and so many of the Samaritans from the town believed in him because of the woman's testimony. And he told me everything I ever did. <laughs> so when the Samaritans came to him, they urged him to stay with them and he stayed two days. <laughs> two days, okay? And because of his words, many more became believers. Not just for the woman. The reason is, he said to the woman, you know, after the two days, we no longer believe just because of what you say. Now we have heard our, for ourselves. We know that this man really is the savior of the world. <laughs> That's George and the Paul. So, you know, the, the, the Samaritan village, the, 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 woman, uh, the, the Gentiles that believe are the first group of Gentiles. They believe Jesus is the Messiah. And then the woman. And the woman is, and actually, a picture of the church. Why? Because Jesus stayed with the church two days, 2,000 years. <laughs> See that? 2,000 years. That's, that's uh, the last 2,000 years Jesus has stayed with the church, right? Stay with the Gentiles. In the Gentile village, the Samaritan village, and because because now we are becoming more and more, and they say, "Wow, we 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 we, we listen to Jesus, we hear about him, we believe he is the savior of the world." More and more, you know. Well, I mean, the you know the church is uh, still helping, but you know the the main thing is you know now we have more personal relationship, more and more. We we are because he's our personal savior. So so we know 
that this man really is the savior of the world. So they, in that day is that good, okay. But you know, of course, um, you know, uh, this is good, but um, I think uh, chapter 12 is also talking about the millennium. The millennium that's to come, you know, that the kingdom of the Lord would be on earth with man. The Emmanuel, God with man, right? Emmanuel. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so, you know, uh, that is in that day. That is in that day. So, you know, it's very interesting on uh, verse 1 and verse 3. Uh, by the way, you know, it's always an end in fun. And in fun, you know, and in that day. That means it's all connected, you know. It's connected to chapter 11 about Jesus' life and ministry. But in the millennium, in that day, you know, so we, we're going to really, this is a kind of like a, um, well, it is a prophecy, but also uh, talking about, you know, the, the kingdom to come. Yes, thank you, Lord. Amen. Now, Verse 1, it also say, Oh Lord, I will praise you. Though you were angry with me, your anger is turned away, and you come from me. Wow, what a change. You know, in the old days, you know, it's like as if God was mad at man, you know, angry. But now it's 180 degree change. 180 degree. And then now, you know, he, he come from me. God's wrath is turned away, right? So, you know, we, we were talking about it, uh, you know, previous uh, few few weeks, you know, we talk about uh, the first son of I, uh, Isaiah was uh, Shia Yasu. <laughs> the women we make return, you know, and then the later on, you know, the second son, the newborn son, boy, you know, he, he's, uh, he's really, really good, you know. So, hey, you know, the old covenant is not so good because you know there was a lot of um, God's demand the Ten Commandments you shall do this you shall do this you shall do this you know and then nobody could could make it you know that's why you know the Old Testament all the kings of Judah even the kings of Judah you know Judah is uh, supposed to be God's people right you know and they have Jerusalem right they have you know all the all the you know Everything you know that that they're supposed to be closest to God, you know, and all the other nations. But even kings of Judas, none of them make it to seventy years old. None of them, except David. David is seventy. You know, so so you know the Old Testament was not so good <laughs> because why? Because Jesus didn't come yet. <laughs> Jesus didn't die on the cross yet, so so they rely on the blood of the uh, animals, you know. So uh, you got a discount, you know, you, you, you can, I mean, even though they have good pictures, but, you know, it's, it's not, it's not the, the real thing. <laughs> Where's the beef, you know? <laughs> okay. Uh, so we turn, there's the return, there's the change, 180 degrees, make a new turn, okay, because of the change of covenant. So the contract is uh, totally replaced, new contracts. So you, you have new contracts, so don't go back to the old one, right? You know, you go back to the old one, uh, you, you miss out because uh, the new co new contract is so good. Why? What happened? Because because the Lord Jesus paid for the difference. Not only the difference, you know, he already paid for overpayment, overpayment, overpayment. You know, he already, you know, take away our curses. You know, on the cross, you know, he was hung on the wood so that you know, all the curses are taken out. So, you know, think about that. You know, in uh, Isaiah chapter 7, uh, verse 11 to 14, you know, we have read that a couple of times already. And then Isaiah was talking about to Ahaz, you know, King Ahaz, you know, he was saying, ask a sign for yourself from the Lord your God. Ask it either in the death or in the high above. Wow. It's, it's all it's all over as a greatest blessing. Hey, Solomon have, have the same view. Solomon saw God in the dream, and then 
you know, the law said, the law of the South said to Solomon, hey, you know, ask anything, and then it will be given to you. And Solomon was so smart, right? He asked for wisdom. <laughs> he asked for wisdom, and then he got most of the everything too. Yeah, I said most, you know. He, he didn't get the link for days. Sorry. But well, that's a, another story, okay? But, you know, he has got the same deal. And then, you, you know what? You know, he is, he is talking religiously. You know, he's talking, so I will not ask. No, you know, I text the Lord. You know, it's like, oh, you know, he's a really good uh, Ten Commandments. Um, you know, man, you know. <laughs> so, so, so I say, I was saying this to him. Here now, oh, how so David? Is it small thing for you to weary man, but will you weary my God also? Wow. You know, you know, God is offering a, 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 a big thing, a good thing, you know, but, uh, you know, but apparently it's not just a, a Ahaz, it's a house of David. So, you know, end up, you know, even though uh, uh, Israel was converts and then the house of Judah, you know, you know, even though David, as much as he was loved, he is loved by the Lord, you know, it did not last too long. Another hundred some years, it did not last too long. Why? Because they, they are, you know, still, you know, going by the LAW. Yeah. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Well, why? Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. So these four verses, in a way, is kind of like a summary uh, of, of prophecy about the old covenant and the new covenant. Think about it. You know, this this is so you know the sign came, whether they want it or not. You know, the 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 king he has as representing the house of David. Uh, they, you, know, you know, they they are just men. You know, but they're chosen by God. The Lord, you know, to uh, to to be an instrument, but you know, they 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 are just you know um, trying to be religious, trying to you know you know do their own things, you know, and and then you know end up you know they miss out. But you know, we're talking about the Lord. The Lord become the the new the new King or eternal. So Old Testament. The law, New Testament, the grace, Old Testament, the Moses, New Testament, Christ. You know, the Old Testament time, uh, most time they were referred to as children of Israel, not children of God, children of Israel, uh, most time. And then, but, you know, we, we, we were outright, uh, you know, say, you know, believe in Jesus, you, are, you become sons of God. We are all sons of God. Yeah. And then, you know, you're under the LAW. You know, they are, they are side effects. The side effects are, well, you know, you don't make it, you know, get cursed. And then, you know, and then it will, somehow it will lead to more idolatry and lust. You know, they, they did not everything. But in grace, because Jesus covered for us, Jesus take away all our curses. Jesus already give us a position, give us the righteousness. So, <laughs> so we got the only blessing. Wow, you know. So he has and has the kind. He has, you know, the the <laughs> you know the, the Old Testament, uh, um, you know, typical king of Old Testament. Has the kind. Well, you know, he, he's very different. Yeah, you know. Uh, so you know they were tested. You know, uh, it has faced up to Isaiah the prophet of the Lord, and then he didn't get it. He was in the treasure house, but he didn't get it. But Hezekiah, you know, in the deepest trouble, you know, surrounded by the enemy. <laughs> the Lord set up a table in front of the enemy for Hezekiah. You know, he say no to the enemy, and then the Lord is with him. Wow, you know, 180,000 soldiers all gone. Some of the 
batsmen, you know, in those days, you know, they, they were invincible before that day, in that day. <laughs> so, you know, Lord Jesus also bless us, you know, every day, you know, it's a blessing on us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. You know, when I'm talking about that, you know, um, we, we uh, some a little bit, okay? Uh, because uh, I, I want to talk about Georgia. Georgia is a picture of Jesus. So we all know that. I think we all know that. Because uh, the name Georgia is not like the name of Jesus. Okay, that's number one. Not only that, well, of course, uh, we already said Moses is a picture of the LAW and Georgia is a picture of Jesus. Okay. Now, what, what happened with Moses? Moses didn't make it, you know, like Yan Hon uh, um, a few weeks ago, you know, pointed out. You know, Moses didn't make it. <laughs> what happened was in uh, Numbers chapter 20, you know, he, the Lord told him to speak to the rock before the people. And then it will yield the water. Just speak. And then it will yield. You know, so it's already offered to them as grace. And so Moses and Aaron gathered the assembly and then, wow, Moses was really upset, you know. He, he couldn't stand it, you know, because he's, he's uh, he was presented the LAW. The, he, he had out, you are rebels, must we bring water for you out of this rock? Then Moses lifted his hand and struck the rock. Therefore, you shall, that later on, you know, the, the Lord told Moses and Aaron, therefore, you shall not bring this assembly into the land which I have given them. Yeah, the, the assembly will go in, but not Aaron, not Moses, right? Yeah, uh, those, those hands. Now, so in uh, chapter uh, one of Georgia, the book of Georgia, now, this is what was uh, uh, what was said, you know. Now, after the death of his servant Moses, the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, son of Nun, <laughs> Moses' assistant, saying, Now, therefore, Moses, my servant, is dead. Rise, you and all these people, and uh, cross over the Jordan into the land that I'm giving to the children of Israel. That's in Joshua chapter 1. Now, that's very interesting. That's very interesting. Well, I'm, I'm going to show you why it's interesting. You know, Georgia, son of none, you know, I used to follow. Wait a second, you know, really? You know, see, how, how can a none have a son, right? <laughs> you know, well, of course, you, you, you know, uh, that that is the name of his father, right? And then none, you know, you, you remember the, the, the word we studied about the spiral stairway last week, spiral stairway, you know, going up the chambers, right? And then it's the uh, Named, wow, Named, like learning upon learning, learning upon learning, right? You know, you're learning, you, you, you're going up, you know, you're going up to, to have a higher place, you know, to heaven, you know, closer to the Lord. You're learning every day, you know, you're getting a manner every day, you're getting blessing every day. So you're learning upon learning, spiral stairway. Now, apparently none is life upon life. <laughs> life upon life. Like eternal life, eternity. Like, you know, so Joshua, Joshua is like Jesus, right? Jesus, son of eternity. Son of God, <laughs> eternal, eternal fathers, right? You know, so, so, so this is really amazing. You know, you know, it, it sounds like nothing, you know, because of it, I didn't, I didn't know the, the, the name Nan or Noon means uh, life upon life, you know, until this last week. <laughs> and then, and then, so this is the pictogram, you know, because, um, when Moses uh, learned um, his uh, alphabet, he learned it from the Egyptian. You know, he picked twenty-two of the uh, uh, pictogram. You know, uh, because Egyptian is like Chinese. You know, they have five thousand words or uh, uh, ten thousand words. You know, <laughs> all pictures. <laughs> but you know, Moses, you know, just uh, get twenty-two of them and then make them into an alphabet language. It's amazing. 
So anyway, so it's life and life, life upon life. It's like continuing, continuing, you know. So so, so that's talking about, yeah, eternal life. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> that's amazing, you know. You, you think about that, you know. God is so full of wisdom. The Lord, our Lord is full, full of wisdom. I'm telling you. You know, you when you when you see and more and more about his wisdom, then you know you don't worry about the world little things, you know, like Colonia, you know, uh what what's going to happen next week or next month, you know, don't worry about it. You know, the Lord is with you. Who can be against you? Nobody can be against you, man. <laughs> right? Yeah. So okay, continuing. But you know, George, son of none. He, he, when he was born, you know, he was not called Georgia. He was called Hoshia. It's very strange, you know. I didn't even know that uh, until this week. <laughs> Georgia, son of none. You know, when when he was uh, uh, born, you know, he was called Hoshia. Uh, can someone read for us? Um, Duran, are you there? <laughs> Duran. Okay, well, um, uh, maybe uh, Tim, you know, can you read for us? Tim, can you unmute yourself and then... Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, read this uh, number, 13, 16. Okay. Now, these were the names of the men who Moses sent to spy out the land. And Moses called Hoshea, the son of Nun, Joshua. Amen, amen. <laughs> so, so apparently, you know, he was not named Joshua before, you know, but uh, Moses say, hey, you know, from here on, your name is Joshua, okay? And then, okay, yes, yes, you know, he has a new life now. He's a, he's a born again. <laughs> he got a new life, new name, you know. So, so, wow, you know, wait a second, you know, Hoshea, Hoshea, what does that mean? Hoshea also means salvation. It also means salvation. So why what, why why change the name then? Well, it's not a picture of Jesus. Why? Because Joshua means the Lord is salvation. Hosea only means salvation. You know, because uh, you know, all the religion of the world, you know, even including Judaism, you know, they say salvation, salvation. You know, but they don't they don't know how. They, they just say, Oh, salvation, you know, you follow us and then you get salvation. You know, so so you know the the object of you know the 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 way you the means of salvation, not 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 with you. You know, they you can be a really devoted religious. You know, try, try to be good to everyone you met, <laughs> and then say that you're you're going to be safe. No, uh, because the law is salvation. Now you know, George is. It's something else because that means you know you know yes you will get salvation but not only that you will know it's from the law the law save you you know it's not like hey you can save yourself you know yeah <laughs> so he is the law of the eternal kingdom Georgia son of none is um, really really amazing you know if you, you think about that, you know, before you sleep tonight and you think, wow, hey, you know, you know, God's word is so so many layers of wisdom, you know, layer upon layers and layers upon layers, you know, the blessing is uh, for those that uh, find their, you know, take out all the gems and receive it and say, yeah, well, thank you, God Jesus, you are, you are really good and then, you know, everything is good. Now, this is very strange. Hoshea, yes, actually, is uh, used in another place in the Bible. Not only one place, but this is really striking. Um, and if you can read, this is Second Kings uh, chapter 18. If you can read the verse 10, um, who's, who's, who, who has time to read this? Uh, so, on the right hand. I can do it. Uh, verse 10. And, and at the end of the three years, they took it. In the sixth year of uh, Hezekiah, and that is the ninth year of Hoshea king of Israel, Samaria was taken. Wow. Wow. 
that is the end of the kingdom of Israel. The last Hoshea is the name of the last king of the northern kingdom. No good. Man's way. Salvation. Well, well, how 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 do you get salvation? Well, you know, they try it by their own religion, they try it by their own way. They don't, you know, the law was uh, trying to help them, you know, because uh, they were uh, in the 10, you know, the 12 tribes originally. But hey, you know, they don't listen. You know, it's not like, you know, uh, somebody have a name called Christian and sometimes somehow he's safe. <laughs> it's not by the name, it's by who you believe. Right, you believe the Lord, you know, then yeah, yes, real salvation, you know, Joshua. But Hoshea, the last king of Israel, that's the end of their kingdom. You know, the the kingdom of the world is going to all fail. I'm sorry, you know, don't don't hang your life or your belief or faith, you know, into men's organizations, you know, kingdoms, you know, because, uh, you know, well, I mean, we, 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 we will, you know, do our best to work with them, you know, work, work well in the world. But, you know, uh, our faith, our faith is totally with the Lord Jesus. You know, it's not, it's not like, you know, um, we, we, we can rely on, you know, like, a, a certain government or uh, maybe the state government or somehow, you know, uh, you, you, they will take care of everything. They would offer some something, but not, not perfectly. Yeah. So, yeah. So <laughs> that's why Joshua's name have to be changed from uh, jo Hoshea to Joshua. <laughs> yeah. I see. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so uh, we are we are on to the second verse, and then uh, there's a word really striking. Uh, but you know, uh, before before we uh, continue, I'm I'm going to share with you um, uh, a recording of uh, the um, I think it's a Hebrew Christian. Um, he's going to read. Um, it, it takes about two minutes time about, you know, this Isaiah chapter 12, all six verses. I'm going to jump over to, you know, try to uh, play that recording. Now, when you play, uh, when you listen to it, try to see if they mention Yahweh. You understand? Because uh, the Lord plays the Lord, you know, there's a lot of the Lord here, the Lord there, right? The Lord, you know, and then, you know, the, so in the original Hebrew, it's Yahweh. It's still written as Yahweh. But listen to what, you know, the Hebrew, uh, even Christian, uh, the way they read about, you know, this uh, chapter 12, okay? I'm going to uh, turn to the, another window. Sahani 
<laughs> yeah, wow, well, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I'm I'm thankful that uh, more and more uh, uh, Jewish people uh, became Christians. But you know, you know, they said um, he never mentioned any Yahweh. You know, the Lord. He never mentioned. You know, he. You know what term he used? He called Adonai. You know, because uh, you know, in the Jewish uh, mind, they are, they are afraid to call God's name. They are afraid to call call God's name. You know, so they substitute the name. You know, they they say Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. Yeah. But I, I heard uh, Yeshua somewhere. You know, because uh, Yeshua is the salvation. The word salvation is Yeshua. Jesus. <laughs> So I'm telling you, you know, it's all good. You know, you, you learn more and more about Jesus. Learn, learn from the Old Testament too about Jesus. You know, when you emphasize on Jesus, you know, Holy Spirit in you, and and your mind and your heart and, and everything is lifted. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now, in this, uh, uh, chapter, uh, I mean, uh, two, you know, in this chapter, I mean, verse two, you know, there's uh, this uh, word Yah. For Yah the Lord, Yah, see that Yah, it's not Yahweh, Yah. It's like um, you know, uh, you know, someone that uh, is called Samuel, right? You know, he was born uh, and then he was called Samuel, but uh, you know, everyone would call him Sam, right? Sam, you know, Sam, you know, that means Samuel, right? And then Yah is like Yahweh is, you know, Yahweh, right? But you know, yeah, it's also used in the in the in the Bible. Okay, it's not a, it's not an insult. It's a short short term. That's why we say Hallelujah. <laughs> we 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 keep we saying that. You know, we say hey, you know, hey, hi Sam. You know, yeah. It's it's not really a it's a, it's not an insult. You know, it, it, it's a he, he like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, so uh, we, let's ponder that a little bit, you know, because the uh, chapter 12 has this Yah, the Lord. For well, Yah, the Lord is my strength and song. So think about that, okay? <laughs> Apparently, the first time Yah was mentioned, in fact, it was the first song. I, I'm not making it up. <laughs> it's the first song of uh, in creation. Now, what, what are you talking about? Well, see, you know, you go back to the Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, okay? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, okay? Verse 2, the earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the water. Yes, this is all God's word, okay? But it was not spoken yet, <laughs> because on the word 3, then God said, let there be light. And there was light. <laughs> and then, so the first song in the Hebrew Bible, let there be light, is Yehi or Wehi or Yeah. Yeah is the first two letters, is Yeah. <laughs> YH. YH. You, hey. You know? So Yahweh is you hey my hey. So this is a you hey. So this is the first time of the creation. <laughs> I don't know, you know, I, I, you know, when I found this out, you know, I, I, I have never preached and then I, I look it up and then wow, you know, it really opened my heart, you know, because well then I know, you know, everything, all the trouble in life, you know, everyone has some trouble, you know, that all the new you know things um, you know, every day you know, but you know everything, he, he should take care of it because he he is the first son. He is always number one. Jesus is always number one. <laughs> yeah, let that be like you know. Let that be like. I'm sorry, you know, English Bible, Chinese Bible, all translations. It doesn't bring out all these many layers of God's word. You know, 
but you know because uh, now now we 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 have the tools and you know we're getting closer and closer to see him so you know uh, all this revelation by holy spirit you know is on to everyone that we see you know everyone you know that you want more you 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 look unto him and then you know the blessing and the blessing and the blessing because you when you know he's great then your life become great you know when you know him you're closer to him you look unto him and you, you become like him you know, not that we become god you know but but we are sons of god <laughs> so yeah thank you jesus so my name is yahweh that's what the law said now you you remember you know in genesis uh, when jacob was uh wrestling with this man you know this man is a uh, angel of the law which means jesus okay when they, they were wrestling and then uh, and the man would say your name will no longer be jacob but israel uh, take a long time but um, you know it, it, uh, most time is still jacob because you have struggled with god and man and you have prevailed wow that's not good yeah yeah well they're, they're a blessing of course but and jacob inquired please tell me your name but you know the man you know the the the, the, the former man and he said why do you ask my name then he blessed jacob there yeah he got the blessing but he didn't got the name so so now think about that you know uh if you know someone you, you really like him and they say what's your name and then the guy will <laughs> tell him his name <laughs> so how close can you be <laughs> you know you can look him up you know you don't even know uh, you know you, you don't know the name yeah and then also in the Exodus chapter 6 verse 3 I appear to Abraham to Isaac and to Jacob as El Shaddai God Almighty but I did not reveal my name Yahweh to them <laughs> now God really loved Abraham Isaac and Jacob okay they are blessed okay I'm, I'm not saying they are not you know and and he's God Almighty you know he can do anything but Apparently, even Abraham, even Isaac, and even Jacob, they did not know the laws by the name Yahweh. Now, Moses written down all this, you know, because uh, all, all, all the five books of Moses was uh, uh, transcribed by Moses. You know, the law told him everything you know to, to write that down that way so exodus is uh, written by moses and so it was like after the fact after the fact we we calling we collection <laughs> so so you know even though in genesis you know the, the the word the law from genesis 2 on is there's already the name that way in all parts of the bible except Genesis 1 and but to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob they did not know Yahweh the name okay now in uh, another part of the uh, uh, Bible in New Testament now uh, in New Testament in John chapter 12 and and this is talking about Isaiah now Isaiah in uh, previously he saw the law in the temple Law was high up in the head, um, in, in the temple, and then his train filled his train, you know, like his dress uh, filled the whole temple. And uh, there was a uh, earthquake, there was uh, all kind of noises, thunder, whatever, you know. And then there was uh, the seraphim flying left and right <laughs> in chapter six of uh, Isaiah, and then and then. You know, this, this is a quite quoted, you know, this uh, is quoted uh, from chapter 6 of Isaiah. That's why the, this is said, he saw his glory. Isaiah. Isaiah, you know, this is Isaiah, another spelling of Isaiah. He saw his glory and spoke of him in, uh, in uh, chapter 6. And then, but, you know, back to John, you know, John was saying, uh, you know, they blinded the... Uh, he blinded their eyes and hardened their heart that they should not see with their eyes and understand with their heart and be converted. I should not, 
I should do them. Those are in Isaiah chapter 6. So, who, who are we talking about? That he, this verse here is Jesus. That means Jesus is Yahweh, the Lord. <laughs> in the Old Testament, he is Yahweh, the Lord. L-O-R-D. And in New Testament, he's Jesus, our Lord. <laughs> so when he was crucified, Pilate also wrote an inscription and put it on the cross. It was written, Jesus the Nazarene, the King of the Jews. Not 1919. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Jesus, the Nazarene and King of the Jews, Yahshua Halazari, Bey Mared, Ha Yahudin, Yahweh, Yahweh. That is the holy name, Yahweh, the Lord. <laughs> so Pilate, you know, he didn't know that, you know, he just, you know, command uh, his, um, soldiers to write up, you know, a sign on top, you know, post a sign and, hey, you know, this guy is uh, king of the Jew. <laughs> Maybe it's a Yisa or something, you know. But, but uh, Bernie, uh, you know, he's actually writing. God is, uh, the father is writing. You know, yes, that's his label. His name is Yahweh. <laughs> so, okay, you know, so for Yah, the Lord is my strength and so on. You know, it's very strange. You know, my strength and song, you know, strength is, well, that's good, you know, that is well, really empowering you, you know, that, uh, you know, if uh, the Lord is your strength, then uh, you're okay. You know, every day, you know, the Lord is my strength. Wow, that's okay, you know. Now, but, you know, the Lord is my strength and song, and apparently, strength and song is kind of tied together. Tied together. It's both. You know, when then you you are really close and uh, you really sing songs, you know, think 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 good thing about the Lord. Your heart is, you know, like in, really in love. You know, because the Lord, you know, the Lord really love you. He's he's our greatest lover. He really loves us. You know more than anyone else. <laughs> the Lord, you know, that's why we we you know we when you realize that, you know, you, you can sing songs to Him. And then, boy, you you really have, have uh, his strength too. The strength is from him. So you know, the first time in um, in the whole Bible, the word song is in Exodus chapter fifteen. The first time, the first time ever. <laughs> no, no, this again, you know, but you know, when Moses and the the children of Israel, uh, they were liberated. No longer slave, they caused the Red Sea, and uh, the enemy were thrown into the sea, and triumphant, the Lord triumphant, and wow, and then the and uh, Moses sent this song to the Lord, saying, "I will sing to the Lord, for He has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider, He has thrown into the sea." So this is the first time. But in uh, Revelation 15, also a 15, <laughs> also a 15, and they sang the song of God's servant Moses and of the Lamb. Great and wonderful are you, are your works, O Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Revelation 15. So it's a song of Moses too. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, when you, you, you are in, really in love, with uh, our our Lord, and then uh, you you will have the strength, you know, strength for the day, strength for you know to face up the future, the strength to deal with the enemy. Yeah, because um, you know he is with you. Who can be against you, right? <laughs> yes. But yeah, the Lord is my strength and song. Yeah. So next one we're going to look at the, is the wells. The wells. The first time 
the well was mentioned is uh, actually with Hagar. The first mention of well was with Hagar. Now, in, in the Old Testament, you know, Hagar was not um, such a good um, whatever, you know. He, he's um, kind of, well, you know, he's a uh, uh, you, you can say, you know, um, everyone of uh, uh, the Bible leader will say, oh, Hagar, Hagar, you know, we know he's, he's not that good, you know, da, da, da. But, you know, it's, it's very strange, you know, the Lord, even, even the angel of the Lord, you know, deal with the last, the laws and the least. You know, even though he's, he might be a picture of, you know, bad news or whatever, but still, you know, the angel of, of the Lord care for them. Really care for them. You know, it's, it's not, you know, because, um, you know, uh, she have said wrong things to her, you know, she have a very bad attitude and then, you know, all this, you know, you know, when, yeah, we, we know Hagar is um, a picture of spiritually, is a picture of also good. But then, you know, even the dead, you know, angel of the Lord still, you know, deal with him. And then, you know, as well. So now the angel of the Lord found her by a spring of water in the wilderness, by the spring of the way to Shu. He said, Hagar, Hagar, Sarah's uh, Sarah's way, okay? where have you come from and where are you going? And then, she said, I am fleeing from the presence of my mistress, Sarai. Then the angel of the Lord said to her, Turn to your mistress, submit yourself to her authority. And then, you know, she, he talked about, you know, you know the, the, the descendant. The, the descendant could be, you know, many, many too. And then, you know, there are some promise and da 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 and all that. And then, so, in the end, you know, she, she, she realized, therefore, the well was called, um, you know, Bear La Haroy. Why? Because then she called the name of the Lord who spoke to her, You are a God who see. For she said, Have I even remained alive here after seeing him? him? You know, so she realized she had met God. The Lord actually would visit. The, you know, the, the, the poor people, the, the people that are down and out, you know, there are nobody in anybody's mind. The Lord still care about her because she, she is a, a person. You know, she can I mean, the Lord, Jesus, really care about everyone. She want to, he wants to say everyone. Impossible. But, you know, that is how the Lord, you know, uh, appeared, you know, to uh, hate the first well. <laughs> and then in the in the New Testament, that was the first well, and we already talked about that. The well at the he had to pass through Samaria, you know, intentionally he had to pass through. And then he came to a city of Samaria called Sychar, near the apostle of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. And the name of the well is called Jacob's well was there. And then so, you know, in the conversations, she challenged him. You are not greater than our father Jacob. Are you who gave up the well and drink of it himself and the son and his cattle? But, and then Jesus talked about, uh, but whoever drink of that well will still be thirsty. But the, whoever drink of the well that I, water that I give shall never first, but the water that I will give him will become in him a well of water and spring up to eternal life. <laughs> so so the church come, come into being because the Gentiles are safe. You know, whoever come close and then I met Jesus, uh, they are safe. They have a well of water and their water is the living, <laughs> the living water to eternal life. Actually, that was prophesied in chapter 49 of Genesis. Joseph is a fruitful bow, a fruitful bow by a well, his branches went over the wall. You know, the Jewish people, you know, they, uh, in their mind, uh, maybe even now, you know, their mind is thinking, they only the Jews are uh, people of God. Uh, and they, they kind of give to themselves uh, most of the time, and they, 
kind of old, you know, send up a wall, you know, to um, fence off, you know, the uh, outside the the the, the gen tang, so to speak, you know. So you know, if you have a foot tree, uh, and then you know, you you would you would um, you would keep, try to keep all the branches inside the wall. You know, you're not going to let the outsider get all the fruits. You know, so but these branches, Genesis 49, Joseph is a fruitful bough, and then a fruitful bough might well <laughs> is branches run over all. Yes, yeah, so branches run over. So the Gentiles also get the fruit, get the blessing, get the salvation, get the healing. You know, get everything also. That's that's the intention of the Lord. In the last mention of the well in the Bible was in Revelation chapter 21. Okay, who, who wants to offer to win? <laughs> hey, God, can you unmute and uh, can you read for us? Chapter 11, 21, verse 6 and 7. Then he said to me, It's done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give it, give to the one who thirst, thirsts from the spring of the water of life without cost. He who overcomes will inherit these things. And I will be his God and he will be my son. Amen. Thank you, Gerard. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. So this is this is uh, this is also a well. You know, uh, well, even though it used the, the term spring, but really the spring is like automatic well, right? The water come out. It's a fountain. The fountain. So so the water come flow freely, freely. You know, without measure. So so. So this is the last mention of the Bible about the well, the water, the wells of salvation. Yeah. So, so you know, we, we, we found, you know, that that's always the God's intention to save the world. You know, God is not uh, limit himself to one tribe or one nation, you know, not to one race, but he really wants to save the world. You know, that was his intention. And so he sent his son, that his son is died for everyone. You know, all the sins of the world, the sin of the world, not, not the sin of just the Hebrews or the Jews. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. So in, uh, in the worst form, you know, there's, uh, this, uh, word praise. Uh, this word praise is not the Alleluia, <laughs> even though, you know, it sounds like it. Is uh, another word, but anyway, well, well, let's let's look at that. Whoa, this is the praise the Lord, yeah, praise the Lord. And then the the word praise over here is yada, yada. It's <coughs> it, it's actually a, an, an action, not just saying it. You know, it's like whoa, you know, you are really excited. You know, yes, <laughs> jump up and down. You know, so 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 you know. Well, okay. So you are using your hand. You are throwing out the hand. You are acting it out. You know. You you not just saying saying, oh thank you Jesus, praise the Lord. You know, it's it's not just uh, just uh, you know just something just say oh well okay you know praise the Lord praise the Lord. It's it's like you know the whole being the whole person. You know that's why the the the, the pentagram is the hand, and then and then you have uh, you know. Uh, ballet, you know, like the hand uh, facing the door, and then outside, you know, that is the the blessing, the grace. So you know, everybody is like raising your hand. <laughs> now I'm telling you, well, why, why, you know, why is the big deal? Well, yeah, you know, it's a uh, you know when you become and uh, seeing uh, the Lord is realer and realer to you, and then you know you you really see Him as greater and greater. Then um, you 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 would you would uh, you know acting it out. You you would you would do things that uh, you otherwise would not have done. You know, you know. Sometimes you know when I grown up um, many years in uh, in churches, and then a lot of times you know we 
we kind of uh, just, you know, quiet, you know, we, uh, you know, sing with the choir, you know, I, I'm not condemning anybody, okay, because uh, we, we're all on the same same uh, path, you know, we are on the journey to Zion, you know, so, uh, but, you know, in, in the past, you know, a lot of times, you know, we look at other people, we say, oh, those guys are too emotional, you know, uh, they, they're acting it out, they're jumping up and down, you know, but if they're praising Jesus, don't, 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 don't criticize them. If if they are they are they are they are, you know, giving glory to the name of the Lord, don't <laughs> don't, don't interfere, you know, because hey, you know, they 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 are really acting it out. They are casting, they are throwing up, you know, their hand, they are jumping up and down, you know, they are they are you know doing all kind of things, you know, that you might see it as strange, but you know. If if they are really worshiping the Lord, you know, don't don't you know don't don't say anything, <laughs> you know. But you know, if I better, you know, yeah, you know, let go, you know, you know, because uh, our Lord is great, you know. Then um, we we need to um, you know um, show show it, you know. We cannot be lukewarm. You understand, you know. A, a lot of times, you know, people say, oh. Yeah, you know, we our our, our denomination don't do that. <laughs> you know, they just play play the piano and then, you know, I'm I'm not criticizing anybody, okay? Because I'm, hey, I'm still learning too. I I you know I don't raise my hand every time either, okay? But you know, if other people praise the law with their hand raised, that's good. Praise the law. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, you know, we, we talk about that, you know, and uh, there's a lot of stuff, uh, you know, ongoing stuff, you know, so uh, let's let's move on. And then we talk about sing, praise, right? We, we talk about praise and then now we talk about sing. Oh, apparently, sing to the Lord, for he has done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. So the, the word sing, actually, is not just singing. It's like, you know, actually, it's more like uh, picking the instruments. You know, so, you know, somebody is doing drum, you know, like the, um, you know, uh, some some of the uh, other, you know, races, you know, they, they like to play drum. And, uh, but if they are praying and singing to the Lord, you know, uh, giving glory to the Lord, don't, you know, don't, don't judge them, you know, because, you know, there's a lot of uh, uh, ways, you know, that, that uh, we, we can do that, you know. Uh, I mean, you, you, you don't feel comfortable, it's okay. But you know, whatever you know, you just look to the Lord. You know, don't don't look at the way other people. You know, a lot of time, you know, we we tend to criticize other uh, denominations, uh, criticize other uh, different cultures. You know, they say, oh, you know, well, we are not like that. Da, da, da. But hey, you know, that is really, you know, that is really singing. The singing is not just only limited to the mouth. <laughs> Okay. You know, uh, this is uh, very strange. When we praise the Lord, you know, the, the name praise also uh, is the, the uh, Judah. Judah is, means praise also. You, you know them. And then so uh, in the uh, book of Judges, it's very strange. Uh, the law answer, Judah shall go up. Who, who, who should go up first? You know, they ask, uh, you know, uh, the Lord. And then, you know, the law answer, Judah shall go up. I have given the land into their hands. So Judah uh, said to Simeon, his brother, Come up with me to my allotted territory, that we might fight against the Canaanites, and I will likewise go with you to your allotted territories. And Simeon went with him. Now, is that a good thing or not? And I'm sorry, it's not good. Why? Because Judah is praise, but Simeon is L-A-W. <laughs> Simeon, the wood word of Simeon is Shema. That means the law. 
So every morning, you know, like even the Jew, Jewish uh, people right now, you know, when they practice their faith in the morning, they would uh, tell the son, hey, have you Shema today? You know, because uh, they have to uh, recite a few verses. And the words is like this, Shema Israel El, Adonai Alenor, Adonai Eka, Hear, O Israel, the Lord God, the Lord is one. They say that in the morning. They say that in the evening. So they shima, shima. <laughs> so Simeon is law. So, so when they, when Judah was told, you know, you go up and then he would win. But, you know, Judah, you know, didn't, didn't want to do that. You know, he wanted to engage um, the brother. So he went up together with Simeon. So that's why in the book of Judges, they always have cycles of win and lose, win and lose, and they never really get all the lands. The, the book of Judges is a recording of man's uh, failure. Why? Because uh, from the book of Judges, chapter 1, verse 2 and 3, they already, uh, you know, try to do it their own way. They try to, to uh, you know, like, uh, you know, I, I do, yeah, I believe in God, but yeah, well, I, you know, God told me to go up by myself. No, I, I want to uh, get somebody else, some guy strong. <laughs> Man, you know, they all want to uh, take, uh, you know, God's way and then man's way. You know, you you mix it up the two, then uh, the Lord say, okay, you are your own. Parcel credit. <laughs> Very safe. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you know in the Old Testament, you know, you you know you you get you activate the LAW, no good. You know, well, yeah, I want to talk about Simeon a little bit. Yeah, Simeon is equal to Shema. The word word of Simeon is the law. Here, here, you know, you you go back and uh, read about you know when Simeon was born. Simeon, uh, you know, uh, means uh, hearing, you know, and then. You remember Simeon and Levi, uh, the other two brothers that uh, were mean and judgmental to kill the prince of Shechem? Yeah, they were the two guys uh, that, that uh, led to the massacre in Shechem, killed all the men, and then kept captive all the uh, uh, women and, and donkeys. <laughs> so, so, so the prince of Shechem was killed, you know, by who? by Simeon and Levi, you know, and then it's very strange. This is a picture of uh, the chief priests and scribes. The chief priest is the Levites. The scribes are the Simeon, the law. You know, scribes are the uh, scholar of the law. And then for, for whatever reasons, they were always in the gospel against Jesus. You know, everywhere Jesus is, you know, then uh, the chief priest and the scribes say, "No, no, he's he's no good. He, he's uh, we 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 have to uh, do something." In fact, when Jesus was born, when Jesus was born as a baby, we recorded. And then the chief priests and scribes were there to help King Herod to figure out where the Messiah is to kill him. <laughs> so, so spiritually, it's very strange. You know, the chief priests and scribes were 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 pictures of, you know, enemy of Christ. You know, you cannot have law and grace. You cannot have law and grace. You know, and and it's very strange. You know, Simeon, in the twelve brothers, he was the only one that have to suffer jail time in Egypt. You know, they have to hold, you know, like the, uh, Joseph in, um, as, um, the governor of Egypt, you know, he said, uh, I have to hold one of you, your brothers, uh, to, to, so that, uh, you, you will prove, uh, what the, your story is true. Bring Benjamin, bring your younger son, uh, uh, brothers. Okay. I'm going to hold Simeon. I'm going to bang him up. <laughs> so Simeon. Get, get the words of time, you know. You know, the, the other one uh, went home, you know, but uh, Simeon was uh, stuck in the jail for a while. And then later on, Simeon uh, did not get the allotment along with Levi. 
you know, they didn't get any land on their own. And then not only that, I'm not making it up. Uh, I'm going to share with you this, and then uh, we're going to check it out right away, okay? So then you, you would remember forever. Simeon is the only one that will not bless when Moses blessed the 12 tribes. Simeon was not blessed. In the last chapter of the Deuteronomy, uh, uh, last two chapters, you know, Simeon was not blessed. Okay, let uh, I'm going to um, uh, jump over and um, to to show it to you. Okay, this is chapter 33. Chapter 34 is uh, the end of uh, the Moses uh, books, the last book of Moses. So 33, he talked about Moses' final blessing on Israel, right? And then I'm going to find Simeon in the blessing. I'm going to look for it. Zero. You understand? The whole whole chapter, yes, all twelve tribes, all the other eleven tribes <laughs> were blessed, but the, the semen was skipped. <laughs> you know, uh, everyone uh, above him and below him, uh, even Reuben was blessed. You know, Reuben was blessed, right? So, he, well, you know, he still uh, got blessed, and then Judah, of course, Levi. So, all the other tribes were blessed. But Simeon was skip. So, well, you know, so so it goes, you know. Now, that's supposed to be a, a means of spiritual lessons. You know, it's not God did not just do this, uh, you know, just to punish Simeon. It's uh, really to remind us about some spiritual truth. So, so the truth is we are not supposed to, you know, rely on Ten Commandments. We are not supposed to rely on the LAW. You know, there is a lot more stuff about this. You know, uh, Simeon also is uh, in uh, Numbers 25, uh, in the tribe of Simeon, uh, maybe most of them, I, I don't know if it's all of them. Uh, Numbers 25, you know, there were 24,000 that was dead uh, in a pack. In Numbers 25, uh, the leader... The leader that was killed was a was a leader of the Simeon tribe. Okay, and um, and then this is very strange too. You know, in uh, in uh, uh, after Jesus' time, you know, in the second century, there was a famous scribe called Akiva. And then you know he he is a major proponent of um, uh, you know like uh, including the. Uh, uh, rabbinical tradition, you know, the Talmud and all that, you know, he is uh, proposing put down all the oral tradition into into book form, into uh, scrolls, so that, you know, then, then uh, they would remember it. But apparently he had also 24,000 students die uh, during the Hadrian rule. You know, there was an Emperor Hadrian. Emperor Hadrian is uh, uh, in uh, like uh, AD 130. And then apparently, you know, he, he um, uh, they don't, they, they cannot explain why. Uh, they, some people say, well, it's a fact, or other people say, uh, because, uh, they have, uh, uh the Jewish uh, rebellion against the Ro Roman Empire. But no matter what, you know, they, it was recorded in a very short time. 24,000 students died, you know, and then Akiva died too later on. And and so, what happened was uh, I I told you right they uh, in the next uh, next week Tuesday or Wednesday they are supposed to be have a bonfire festival. It's a bonfire festival. Uh, usually, it's on the thirty three days uh, after kind of like Passover. You know, thirty three days. You know, like two thirds of the way to Pentecost. 
But uh, this year they cannot have bonfire. They are forbidden to do it. And and the bonfire was to remember uh, those people that died. The twenty four thousand, you know, supposedly the best of the best um, scribes, scholars um, under Akiva. You know, they try to, uh, in addition to the Bible, they try to come up with their commentary and then make that uh, as kind of equal to the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, that is that is a real problem, you know. Uh, but, but you know, that you, you see, you know, spiritually, there's a lot of things that they are really mysterious. You know, I, you know, there's no way, you know, we can all explain why and what happened. But, you know, apparently... Uh, that is, that is, um, um, but, but there for will. The blessing and the curse, those are for will. So, Isaiah, you know, uh, we have done saying, praise, we have done saying, and then we also have seen. Now, this is talking about his deeds. It's his work, not our work. You know, our work cannot do anything good. You know, our work, uh, you know, we will earn our living and things like that. But spiritually, you know, it's really, uh, it's all Jesus doing, all Jesus doing. So it's, it's uh, his deeds and he has done, you know. So near the end, you know, we have one more, one more, one more um, important point was great. For great is the Holy One. Great is the Holy One. So how great is great? How great is He? You know, I know one thing, you know, and I I, I believe the Bible will support it. it. When the greater He is in your heart, and then the more blessing, the more signs and more miracles in your life. Okay? When you see the Lord is great, you know, what the, that, that's why we look unto Jesus. We look uh, to, the, uh, we talk to each other in uh, uh, Bible study. We talk about Jesus. When we talk about Jesus, when we realize, you know, how great He is, then uh, we sing songs and we read the Bible. We, and then we realize more and more, and then, the, then uh, our heart would be enlarged, and uh, we really see blessing. Now, in the Holy of Holies, in the Tabernacle. You know, you remember when they were uh, wandering and wandering in the wilderness? The tabernacle is, uh, the Holy of Holy is only 10 cubits by 10 cubits by 10 cubits. Okay, 10 cubits. So 10 by 10 by 10. You know, the height also 10. In the, uh, in the temple, the, uh, the whole, the most holy place, uh, is the holies of the holies is 20 cubits by 20 cubits by 20 cubits okay got it um, but when uh, we go to book of revelations the city uh of you know the new Jerusalem, it is also a cube. It's not ten by ten. It's not twenty by twenty by twenty. It is like uh, about four thousand miles. Somebody said <laughs> you don't know how big. It's twelve thousand stadium. You know, and then some translations say it's four thousand miles. Four thousand miles by four thousand miles by four thousand miles because. His length and width and height are equal. <laughs> so, so that's why the Lord said, I'm going to prepare uh, uh, rooms for you. You know, hey, you know, Yan Hon, you're going to ten, get uh, 10 cities. <laughs> and the team, you're going to get, um, oh, I'm, I don't know how many planets, I don't know, you know, a Gerard too. <laughs> you know, maybe uh, 10 cars, you know, uh, who knows, you know. But, but it is way back, okay? So, uh, so uh, you know, it's mysterious and big, you know. Well, you know, uh, it's, everything is wonderful. Now, by the way, uh, you know this uh, bronze uh, basin? 
those are bronze, those are made from copper. And then, you know, all the utensils are more, all bronze. You know, you remember them? You know, those are for the, um, uh, you know, when they were doing offerings, you know, they need uh, some water, you know, cleanse them, you know, uh, wash their face, you know, and, uh, and then, uh, you, you, know, you know, wash their whatever, you know, and for cleansing, right? Now, I don't know if you guys know about that, you know, but uh, I read on the news uh, this week. Uh, actually, uh, it's been uh, a month or two already. When the Corona uh, story come up, a lot of people found out that apparently copper is the uh, uh, metal that kills virus. I don't know if you heard about that. So apparently, they, they have uh, done a, a testing lab and they found out stainless steel, uh, the virus will sit on it for two or three days. Uh, uh, plastic, two or three days. Uh, maybe even longer. And then uh, uh, for cardboard, two or three days. All the man-made stuff, two or three days. And that's why it was enough uh, for the next guy touching it, he got transmitted. Two or three days is enough for transmission. So, you know, uh, stainless steel apparently is no good. But apparently copper, you 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 have virus on top or any kind of virus, uh, most kind, you know, I don't know if it's many kind. Uh, most, uh, all kind, but uh, most uh, a lot of them, including Corona, when they the virus is on copper surface, they would uh, disintegrate in two or three hours at the most. At the most, two or three hours. So, so apparently the copper is a uh, is a uh, anti microbial uh, micro micro uh, bio um, uh, material. Now, in fact. Uh, I heard that uh, in uh, Hong Kong or somewhere, uh, uh, I, I, I didn't put it here, but in Hong Kong, you know, they are making a uh, copper mesh uh, face masks and then the government are giving out the, those, uh, you know, copper mesh facing masks and they say you can use it, uh, we use it for, you know, 60 days or whatever. And uh, apparently the copper Apparently, because it, it, kill, it can kill virus, so you know when you breathe through it, then the virus um, might be killed. You know, so so that was the theory. And then not only that, um, now you know this is a Smithsonian uh, the article. Now they claim, oh, all along they know uh, in uh, in the ancient time, you know that uh, copper can kill virus. Oh, come on, they don't even know how to spell virus. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know how to spell virus, but we all know that in the Bible, in Exodus chapter 30, the Lord told Moses, you shall make a navel of bronze with base also of bronze for washing. You shall put it between the tabernacle of meeting and the altar, and you shall put water in it. For Aaron and his son shall wash their hands and their feet in water from it. When they go into the tabernacle or meeting or when they come near the altar to minister, you know, they kill uh, a lot of uh, animals every day. They kill uh, cows, they kill uh, uh, lambs, they kill all kinds of animals. They are very bloody, like, like a butcher. <laughs> but apparently, you know, there was no uh, records about, you know, they died because of the virus. Because they didn't even know. But anyway, so so this is what the law told them. They shall wash their hands and their feet lest they die. So so in the Bible, 3,500 years ago, the law is in the Bible already told them, you know, use a bronze uh, material. Amazing. Amazing. So uh, I don't know, uh, you know, what kind of Smithsonian, um, you know, uh, story writer. They say, oh, they already know virus. Come on, you know, they don't know virus. You know, maybe they were copying the Bible. <laughs> they don't know why. <laughs> and then, by the way, the bronze, uh, the, the copper price gone up 20% last month. Copper price gone up 20%. <laughs> <laughs> 
everybody is uh, going down, everybody, you know, but copper, copper going up. It's amazing. So, yeah, man made materials, stainless steel, you know, it's very amazing because, um, uh, because uh, we tend to believe the scientific method, you know, the, uh, the Western uh, uh, approach, you know, and then the, all these uh, scientific people, you know, come up with, oh, stainless steel, stainless steel. So all the hospital was lined up with stainless steel stuff. Even the surgical, uh, you know, surgical stuff, uh, you know, sweet, it's all stainless steel. And then even the kitchens, you know, when you when, when people are rich, you know, they, they, or the commercial kitchens, they all stainless steel, right? All the eating utensils is stainless steel, but apparently, it um, it it would keep the uh, virus for two or three days. <coughs> it's amazing, but copper would uh, would kill uh, the virus in um, you know a matter of hours, couple of hours at the most. So it's enough to to. <laughs> So I, I watched the news, you know, it's very interesting, you know, because uh, uh, I saw, a, a, you know, a story about uh, some uh, some some uh, uh, apartment managers in Taiwan, they uh, get the, those uh, uh, copper plate, get the copper plate and then attach it to the doorknob. <laughs> they attach it to the doorknob, they, they find out this story, you know, report by BBC, CNN, you know. Uh, the Princeton University and all this uh, stuff. So they they uh, attach the copper plate to to the surface, and then and then hope that well you know it won't change me to the next guy. <laughs> it's amazing. And then uh, now you know I imagine uh, you know in the future you know if they're going to require bronze. They're going to require bronze because the Bible says so. <laughs> bronze and brass, yeah. Oh, this is another one. How great, how great is our Lord? You know, in the Genesis chapter one, right? Entire chapter is about the creation, the seven days, right? We all know that, right? And Genesis chapter two, apparently there's already talking about the heavenly kingdom. Uh, somebody read these uh, three verses. How about him? Okay, uh, verse uh, 10. Uh, now a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from there it parted and became four uh, river heads. The name of the first is Pershing, uh, Pishon. It, it is the one which skirts the whole land of Havila, where there is gold, and the gold of that land is good. Uh, the Dilium and the uh, Angsi uh, Ang stone are there. Yeah, well, for a long time, you know, uh, especially when I was, uh, the, you know, uh, uh, a young, you know, new Christian, you know, I, you know, you started with Genesis. <laughs> and then you went to there, you know, say, oh, well, okay, interesting, you know, but uh, you don't know what I mean. Actually, I, I don't think, uh, you know, most people think of it that way, but let's, let's look at that. This is what we just read, the second chapter of the Bible, right? We just read that, second chapter. This is the second to last chapter of the Bible. <coughs> Second to last chapter is chapter 21 of the book of Revelations. Now, the construction of this wall talking about the new Jerusalem, the heavenly Jerusalem. Okay. The construction of his walls was all jasper and the city was pure gold, like clear glass. The foundations of the wall of the city were adorned with all kinds of precious stones. Oh, okay. Long description. And then I don't know how to pronounce those um, gems. <laughs> those gems are <laughs> unpronounceable. <laughs> the 12 gates were 12 pearls. Each individual gate was for one pearl. And the street of the city was pure gold. 
like the transparent glass. That's the second to last chapter of the Bible, the heavenly Jerusalem. So, so after the creation, chapter one, the second chapter already、uh, have a little prophecy about the after our world, you know, like like getting back to Eden, and and then more, you know, the heavenly Jerusalem is、uh, all you know, not just gold. Not just bellium, not just only stone. You know, a lot more stuff cannot describe. You know, I I have no idea. You know,、uh, what what? How do you pronounce those?、Um, you know, it's too wonderful to 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 talk about it. And and we're going to have eternal life with our Lord Jesus in such a place. You know, cannot cannot describe. You know the. the Uh, when when we get up there, you know, in um, you know, in the you know, in the with the company of um, un uncountable number of angels, you know, that is that is the、uh, the the promise of the new creation. So, in that day, yeah, 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 you know, praise the Lord is the、uh, sing to the Lord. Now you look this, you know this is very strange, you know, because um, um, you know we have say sing to the law, and then praise the law, call upon his name, but you know in the Old Testament people, the religious people, they they don't even dare to use his name. You know right now, you know if you go to the um, uh website on uh, like Google News, you Google News and you can get into the uh. Uh, Jewish, uh, the Hebrew、uh, newspaper, and then you know when the rabbi was、uh, writing articles, they would not say God, they would say G dash D, and they would say Adonai, they would say Hashem, they they don't they don't they are afraid of God's name. How can you be close? You know, you know that that is the problem. You know that's why, and I'm sorry for them. You know, but、uh, I know the Lord still love them. The law want to save them, you know. Many Jews are saved now because、uh, more, more, you know. But、uh, but many of them are still not saved, you know. They they still、uh, relying on religion, you know. Relying on hey, you know, I'm the descendant of Moses, I'm descendant of children of Israel. But you know,、uh, of course, we pray for them. And and so you know, this Isaiah twelve is there's a lot of stuff, you know. The the main thing is. Now, when you know the law is great, and、uh, you know that you know this is not just about the future, this is also about your 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 life, you know, because you know、uh, everyone, you already have the kingdom in your heart. It's in you. The Holy Spirit is the body、uh, is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit is with you. He's not going to leave you. The blessing is on you. The only problem is you know we. When we we did not know that, we kind of ignore him. We kind of you know not paying attention. You know we we pay attention to the bad news, sad news, or the fake news, <laughs> right? You know we 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 focus on the world. You know, hey, you know, but this is、uh, really really amazing. You know that.、Um, so you know this is yes. Yeah, you know, this is for the eternity. But in that day, and in that day, you know. So this is probably a song. It's a song of Isaiah. You know, he's my strength. He's my song. He's my salvation. Therefore, joy and da da da, and then, and the well of the, the water. You know, and then in that day, praise the Lord. His be, you know, it, it is his work. You want to see the work of the Lord, then、uh, you you just. Give thanks and、uh, praise him, and then know that he is going to take care of you, and and then、uh, the signs and miracle will happen. That is the the thing, you know, because the, that is the only supernatural, spiritual、uh, God that deliver. You know, it's it's all in the history of the Bible, four thousand years. You know, the 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 Jacob. And his、uh, descendants is the、uh, last four thousand years, 
and they suffer a lot, you know, even though on one hand they were blessed, but on the other hand, because they still live under the LAW. They live under the LAW, they miss out, you know. So the main thing is, you know, um, we, 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 we believe and the blessing is, uh, you know, we totally turn to the Lord and then when we uh, sing praises, we, 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 you know, like today, you know, we are, we are studying the Bible, thinking about the quickness of God. And um, then, um, you know, the angel of death is going to bypass you, uh, you know, because you have the blood of Jesus. You have the blood of Jesus, your, your family and your loved ones are all blessed. You know, you have Jesus with you, you know, you, you think of it that way. Yeah. And um, so, I, I guess uh, that's the, you know, my um, end of, uh, you know, I'm going to uh, say a prayer and then uh, we, we can open up, uh, you know, uh, have some more sharing or whatever. Okay, let's pray. <clears throat> Dear Lord Jesus, I'm just thankful that uh, you given uh, Isaiah, uh, the book of Isaiah to us uh, in this chapter 12 yeah, that uh, you have revealed uh, with the revelation of the new kingdom, uh, not just in the eternal life, but also uh, in our heart, in our uh, lifetime on, on this earth. Lord, we know that you are coming soon. And uh, so, but every day, we are just thankful. I'm praying for blessing on everyone that, um, not only the everyone that attend uh, today uh, on the Bible study, or I'm praying for blessing on everyone and healing, protection, and um, uh, prosperity and uh, and uh, uh, peace uh, on everyone. Uh, but also uh, on at the sound of my voice, uh, uh, not because of me, but because of your love and your promise. Uh, we just give thanks and praise to you uh, that uh, for the coming weeks uh, that uh, you are with us. And uh, I'm also praying for the other group, the Mandarin group. I'm praying for blessing on them that uh, they would see Jesus. They would uh, turn to more and more to Jesus and uh, that the blessing uh, belong to them. And then uh, I'm also praying um, that uh, you, you would bless uh, the, the Sunday worship and uh, for everyone. And I'm also praying for the the people that we know, uh, because we are kings and priests, I'm praying for everyone that uh, we know around us that, that are suffering, they need help, and uh, that uh, you would send forth your your own people to pray for them, bless them, um, share with them about Jesus, how great he is, and that uh, they would also be blessed and become their strength and their song, and become their strength and their song. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Um, you know, so I I, I uh, bring this to you, Lord, in your name, by the blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hey guys, um, I'm I'm hoping next week we're going to study uh, like uh, Hezekiah, like uh, chapter 36, 37, and you know, kind of you know tie into what we just finished. And um, I, I, I hope that, uh, you know, that uh, we would uh, get more blessing, uh, understanding, because uh, the more we know, you know, the more, <laughs> it's, you know, he is our strength and our song. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, David. Hey. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Bye. The Lord bless you. Bless you. See you and, uh, next week. Yeah. See oh, you yeah. next week. Yeah. Thank Take you. Take care. Take care. Yes. Amen. Amen. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.